Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be listening to Lie by BTS. And it's the first time that I will have ever heard the song, and I'm excited about it. So let's get into it. Lie is a solo song by Jimin of BTS. Once you Jimin, you can't Jim out. I've seen, uh, or I'm, what is it? Once you Jimin, you can't Jimin out? Anyway, I've seen some of you say that in the comments in other videos. So that's pretty cool. You know, it's funny. When I first started my journey with BTS a couple months ago, RM was probably my first favorite member of the group. He was kind of easily recognizable to me. And then probably Jin, and then Jimin because of their vocal ability. But Jimin's voice is just out of this world. And now I kind of have a, a soft spot for V. Um, he's got a unique voice too. So yeah, I'm slowly learning, and I only kind of learn on this channel that I can listen to this stuff. Once I listen to it once, I can listen to it on my own. But All right, so lie, let's get into it. Um, it's a solo song by Jimin of BTS. It was released on October 10th of 2016. Today, by the way, is November 24th, Thanksgiving Day. Happy Thanksgiving. 2022. So this is about six years ago that this song was released. It appears as the fourth track on their second studio album, Wings. You know, Paul McCartney is one of my favorite artists of all time, and his band Wings put out a lot of good stuff. So if you hadn't listened to any of that, you should definitely do it. Uh, so this is an album called Wings by BTS, their second album. Um, let's do the lyrics before we get to the uh, song itself. So I'll just kind of run through um, some reading about the song. Jimin's solo track, Lie, is about the inner conflict occurring from the attempt of escaping lies and temptation. Jimin himself wrote the lyrics based on his own past. He used to blame himself for his shortfallings and occupied himself with thoughts like, why am I, wait, I forgot to take off my sunglasses. These are prescriptions, so I can actually see with them. Um, um, all right, so where were we here? He used to blame himself for his shortfallings and occupied himself with thoughts like, I'm not good enough, I'm bad. That's not very positive outlook. All right, so here are the words. Tell me with your sweet smile to me. Oh, let me put my other glasses on that are also prescription. I can see up close. I can't see far off, and these lyrics are pretty small. Um, tell me with your sweet smile to me. Tell me. Tell me like you whisper in my ear. Don't be like a prey. Smooth like a snake though i want to escape please get away 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 from me please get away away from me whatever it takes please save me please save me it continues even if i try running away i'm drowned in lies caught in a lie please find me who was innocent i can't free myself from these lies Please bring back my smile. Caught in a lie, please take me out of this hell. I can't free myself from this pain. Please save me who's being punished. You want me, lost and wondering. You want me, just like every day. I feel so far away. You always come my way. It gets repeated yet again. Please get away, away, away from me. Please get away, away from me. Whatever it takes, please save me. Please save me. So it's like, get away. No, save me. Get away. No, save me. And I, I don't know. I'm just kind of thinking about when you lie. It's definitely a push and pull. Um, it continues. Even if I try running away, I'm drowned in lies. Caught in a lie. Please find me who was innocent. I can't free myself from these lies. Please bring back my smile. Caught in a lie, please take me out of this hell. I can't free myself from this pain. Please save me who's being punished. I'm still the same me. I'm here as the same me as before, but the overgrown lie is trying to swallow me. Caught in a lie, please find me who was innocent. I can't free myself from these lies. Please bring back my smile. Caught in a lie, please take me out 
of this hell. I can't free myself from this pain. Please save me. Who's being punished? So he's caught and he's pleading to save him. Uh, yeah, lies can really uh, wear on you. You know, I, I'm a big, big believer in honesty is the first chapter in the book of wisdom. So if you're trying to be wise, first chapter is honesty. I said that before in another video. I think that's it's either Thomas Jefferson or George Washington. I'm pretty sure said something like that. Okay, um, we're going to get into the song itself. And I've chosen the color-coded version, color-coded lyrics. So I'm excited because I know Jimmy can get after it with his vocals, and I'm interested to hear this. So we're right at uh, six minutes here in this video, and we're going to start the music uh, right now. Wow. Certainly a dramatic intro, symphonic. Six, eight times. Key change. I gotta pause it for a second. <clears throat> that intro was something else. It was really dramatic and kind of theatrical, classical music that already introduced some minor effects and definitely makes you. Uh, that insecure lie, it was not on solid ground kind of thing. Um, but it started getting into that 6-8 time, and then that key change there at the chorus was pretty cool. And You know, um, this channel, when I initially thought up this channel, it would be song review, golf, and boating. And I haven't really done a lot of the golf since I've really started, you know, getting some viewers on here. But here's a golf lesson for you, in my opinion. If you're ever swinging golf clubs, think about a 6-8 time, back 2-3, three, forward 2-3, two, three, back 2-3, two, three, forward 2-3. Two, three. You want to keep your head still when you swing, but back 2-3, three, forward 2-3. Two, three. And this song has a really good tempo. If you're ever hitting golf balls, you might want to listen to this song to get your tempo right. So, uh, let's back up a little bit. It's interesting that that's the thing that I, my brain would point out listening to this. But I really like the progression and the key change and the note choices in this song. It's pretty creative. All right, here we go. Back two, three, four, two. I feel like Jim and if you got Jim in the band, you'd have to just unleash him on the world you know he's got so much talent vocally it's like when's the next opportunity to just unleash him and, and let him fly you know you, you don't want to hold him back all right keep going I'm 
Got a lot in this. If you ever try to write songs, typically people go to a 4-4, 4 4 one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, you know, that kind of thing. Um, it's rare, I think, on an amateur level to do a 6-8 time which has a swing. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this song has it. And I always say that I don't know if I've ever heard a bad 6-8 time song. Just that feeling is always fun and kind of swaying. And um, it it's interesting when people actually do write a 6-8 um, time song. You know they they got some brains in them, I think. And uh, because you got to be thinking about it to, to write this kind of a beat. Jimin's got a lot of talent. A lot of it. Okay, let's... This song's uh, pretty short. I've got the close caption on. Sorry about that. I'm missing the good part. Back up. Interesting ending there. You know, it'd be hard if I were the producer. Um, I would have really. Oh, sorry. If I were the producer and you're in the room with Jim and it's like, you know, we're getting in the song. Let's let's do one of these really high notes. And they kind of held him, or he held himself in check there. And, um, but you know, he can flat out do it. And it'd be hard to hold him back. But the danger is you end up like a guy like Journey with Steve Perry back in the day. Just because he can sing high, maybe you shouldn't do it all the time. Because next thing you know, you're singing live. And every song, you're way up high. And then your vo voice starts to go out. And, you know, you got to think of saving these singers. But um, I'm sure that probably didn't, is not the reason why they didn't tell him to really go for it. But... Um, this is a great little song. I, I like it. I, I think it's very creative with the notes. And um, to me, a song, songwriting, and I think there's a lot of brain power in this song. Um, it was really good. Uh, different from a lot of theirs. And 
that intro, let's just listen to it again. Thanks for voting for this one. This I, I like this. Uh, that was good. So um, this will be episode 36 in my BTS journey and moving right along. And uh, if you want to see the rest, I got a playlist with a whole bunch of stuff. And if you go all the way back to Black Swan, I was, uh, you know, I, I didn't know what I was getting into, and I wasn't even sure if I was going to like it. Um, had a hard time in that video, but. It's all right. You can actually go look at the comments, the, the people saying, well, you tried, but you should just move on. But, you know, that's part of it. I mean, when you're trying music that's not in your comfort zone, sometimes it's hard to, you got to give it a minute. So anyway, that's it. So thanks for this. Um, I'll be back with another video most likely tomorrow. So happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Thanks for watching. Remember to love your neighbors, love your family, love your pets, you know, just smile, uh, but be honest. <laughs> so, all right, we will talk to you later. See you, bye.